This short video shows how to set close dates in Sitka's Evergreen. In addition to regular weekly close days, most libraries have irregular close dates for occurrences such as holidays, renovations, and staff training days. It is important to enter these irregular closures into Evergreen to ensure that your due dates do not fall on days your library is closed and that your patrons' fines are calculated correctly. Irregular closures are recorded in Evergreen through the Close Dates Editor. This is found under Administration, Local Administration, Close Dates Editor. To enter a new close date, click Add Closing. If you are a multi-branch library, you can check the box for Apply to All of My Libraries to apply it to the selected library and any associated child or units. From the drop-down menu, select your closing type. For a single day closure, select one full day, enter the date for the closure, or use the calendar widget to select the date. For a closure that spans multiple days, select multiple days and enter your start and end dates for the closure. For a partial day closure, select detailed, enter the dates for the start and end of the closure, and select the start and end times for your closure. Now we'll create a closure for New Year's Day. For our closing type, we'll select one full day. For our date, we'll select January 1st. And now we'll enter a reason. We click OK, and our closure now appears in the list. We recommend that libraries enter all known irregular closures, such as statutory holidays, at least once a year. By default, only upcoming closures are displayed. You can adjust the date filter if you need to see closures in the past. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.